Here's a really common scenario that I've seen over and over again in restaurants and cafes. A manager, an owner, they take a look at the numbers and they're simply just not adding up. They're wondering why their costs are over budget and why their revenue can't support the profit margins that they would like. Hmm, what's the problem? Let's investigate, they say. Immediately they see that the staff cost is over budget and they're in trouble. So if, you, if you're in this scenario, what you can do is try to find out if you're getting bang for buck with regards to productivity, aka revenue, from your staff. But at the same time, you don't want to be feeling like you're creeping over your team and watching them like a hawk. <laughs> your business financially is going to have up and down days. This is normal. Within that climate, you've got costs of production, you've got cost of staff, you've got overheads. I know, right? Traditionally, the labor cost for the hospitality industry is around 30%. Of course, it's going to vary from business to business. Today, we're going to focus on labor costs versus revenue. Why this is so important is because it gives insight as to whether or not the amount of staff and the productivity that they are bringing to the table works for your business. The benefits to an analyzing your productivity means you get insight as to what revenue goals you should be aiming for rather than the revenue you are getting. Here's an example. A lot of small cafes have a really small team and a high workload per team member. You might have one chef and two front of house team members that take care of all the cooking and cleaning, the making of beverages, the servicing of the clients, and those kinds of things. If the average day for this kind of setup is around $2,000, that means their staff costs need to stay at $667 or less, taking into account that they're trading for an eight hour day. In this scenario, given the wages where I am in Australia, their staff cost is going to be $696. Whoops, we're out about 30 bucks. The staff cost for the 30% model need to actually be $667 or less. So that $30 has to come from somewhere. So how do we recoup that $30? What you do is, is you introduce a more efficient and effective sales strategy. What, sales in hospitality? Yes, as a matter of fact, sales in any retail or wholesale situation are absolutely in peril to the survival of the business. Here's a simple example that this cafe can implement immediately and get immediate results. If a croissant, a bacon egg roll, or a bacon and egg muffin sell for between five and eight dollars, by making six upsells in addition to a coffee order for takeaway, the $30 will come immediately back. Maintaining that level of productivity, that level of output will keep these staff costs in check and allow you to feel a sense of relief when you go home at the end of your eight hour shift. Simply ask your staff to upsell with every takeaway coffee order to boost that productivity. Awesomely, with new technology, this can be done online as well, as more and more people are buying their coffee and food items in-house through the online sales platforms. Some would argue that's even better because it allows staff to save time on the upsell process and give great quality customer service. However, it is my opinion that great quality customer service also includes upsells but not by voicing them in a generic fashion, but rather in a helpful kind of way. Such as, that coffee would go great with a ham and cheese croissant. Would you like one? As opposed to, can I get you anything else? I get it, asking your staff to upsell can lead to discomfort, but look at the success of major food retailers like McDonald's and Subway. Every single customer gets asked, would you like fries or cookies with that? without the hard sell pressure. In return, your sales will go up. And not only that, did you realize sometimes your customers don't even know what they want until you ask them? 